Nana Chabi, welcome. Nana, come now and get here. Thank you. Omen Freddy, yes, sir. Omen Freddy, yes, sir. Omen Freddy, yes, sir. I felt very honored when Ben invited me to be a part of this gathering and also sent me some material about the Dream Child African Renaissance project. Every African chief has no option but to be a committed and African minister. This project is truly pan African, and as an African from a, ter from a territory labeled Ghana, I'm proud of this gathering. I'm proud that this gathering is taking place here because this territory, because of its heritage, is the home of pan Africanism on this continent. Distinguished audience, the lyrics of the sweet song of this project envelop me and also provoke all sorts of thoughts relating to Mother Africa. As Africans, we sing at every facet of our existence. And what intrigues me about the, about the lyrics is that the happy sweet song in the midst of toil, sweat, and misery. You know, the happy sweet song. Singing this in the midst of what? Toil, sweat, and misery. How can we sing, how can we sing a sweet song in the midst of suffering? That sure can make you crazy and mad. This is the lyrics. Sing here, happy song, a sweet song. But within a condition that can make you crazy. Any person interested in Africa should pick up Basil Davidson's book, Basil Davidson's book, which came out in 92. And he wrote about Africa. The actual and present condition of Africa is one of deep trouble. Sometimes a deeper trouble than the West imposed during the colonial days. Tropical forests, such that the world will never see again, have fed the export more. Cities that barely deserve the name have spawned plagues of poverty on a scale never known in earlier times or even dreamed of. Davidson saw that despair runs civil society. The state becomes an enemy. Bandits flourish. Meanwhile, the developed world, the industrial world, industrialized world, has continued to take its cuts of Africa's dwindling wealth. The African problem is that it is the robbers who are taking over. Those who do not know who we are, who do not know who they are, are the ones who are ruling us. And they don't know that they can't even rule themselves. How much more rule us? This is the problem. <laughs> this moment, being in the now, we realize our power. Taking command of our destiny, when we visualize, we create our reality. Trusting in our own building from the roots, can't go forward by aping, and creativity is the route to success. Let us be confident and sure of ourselves. Take a solid bold step, one after another, united in love, we still sing our song like this. One man free. Yeah, yeah. One man free. Yeah, yeah. One man free. Yeah, yeah. Happy God, right again. Thank you.